welcome back to our program. It's nice having you. We want you to know all about the sales tax projects, and that's why we're doing this program every Saturday. And we want you to take a look at a very, very important one right now. And to discuss it with me is Molly Lemin, and she is project manager for this project. It's the Rivers Avenue Northwoods Mall uh, area project. And she's done a number of others as well. You know, we talked in the past about the fact that each of our engineers is assigned either a bonded project or an allocations project, the smaller projects, if you will. And uh, Molly has done both, and we're glad to have you today. It's really nice that you would come out in this heat. Yes, thank you for having me. It's really hot out here. but It's a little warm. <laughs> how did you manage to get this project, and how do you and uh, the staff that you work with break up the projects and assign to each other? Well, every year Charleston County does fund projects based on uh, different facility types. This is a, specifically a pedestrian and bicycle improvement project. Yes. And uh, we have five engineers in the office and we kind of just divvy them up between, between our workload. And uh, I just happened to get this one and it's going to be a great project. It's going to provide for great pedestrian facilities. It seems like it. Now, how long a project is it? This Rivers Avenue goes on forever. So I assume you're not doing all of it. Absolutely not. There are budget constraints. This project will start just on the south side of the intersection of Ashley Phosphate Road, and then it'll continue just a little bit past Northwoods Road Mall. And then there will be some intersection improvements as well. N not necessarily intersection improvements, but there will be improvements to the intersection for pedestrians. Ah. We are going to uh, improve the crosswalks, allow for timed um, pedestrian signals to give them the ability to cross, as you can see, six seven lanes of traffic. There's a lot of traffic out there and there are a lot of pedestrians as well. I come into this area <laughs> fairly often and so I sort of know. But what is the problem with people getting across the road? Is it that the traffic is so busy or so heavy or what are, what are your findings about that? Well one of our biggest issues is that the sidewalk is not continuous on both sides. Oh. So therefore pedestrians are having to hop back and forth Rivers Avenue to stay on the sidewalk. So the first part of our project is to put sidewalks continuously on both sides of the road and then to designate specifically where the pedestrian is to cross to make it much more safe. Molly, what is a pedestrian signal? Um, pedestrian signals are what you see attached to the light poles that uh, it's actually an illuminated light that tells you when to walk, you know, how many seconds you have left to cross the street and then it'll give you that, you know, the hand that tells you to stop walking, do not cross. Now there's a little button down there that one can push. Is that the kind that we're going to have That's here? That's right. This project's going to include those to, uh, to stop traffic to allow people to cross the roadway. Tell us the secret. Do they really work? They do work and actually what, how it works is there are wires in the asphalt pavement that detect the traffic so that uh, it can stop the traffic and allow people to cross. I know that uh, there has been some information to come out from the Public Information Office and from your office about the fact that there's probably going to be some stoppage of traffic or maybe some traffic issue going on here. There are several alerts that have been issued. Can you tell us about those, when they will happen, where they will happen? Yes, we've tried to do our best to notify the public of the, the construction of the project. It might require that we close a uh, actual travel lane to build the sidewalks. And so we wanted to make sure that the public was aware that there might be nighttime lane closures of, of travel lanes. Now you try to work, you meaning the Transportation Sales Tax Program staff, try to work at night. I noticed that. And that is for what, public convenience or what? Well, absolutely. This road is very, very busy. We, there's no way we could close a lane during daytime. That would just impede traffic beyond uh, anyone's uh, ability to, sure. to commute through. So. Now, have the businesses been notified about this? Absolutely. We went to an, an extra effort for this project and went door to door to notify all the businesses to make sure they were aware of the upcoming project. And again, how long a project is this from this end, which is Rivers Avenue at Ashley Phosphate, all the way down to? Yeah, just a little bit past Northwoods Mall, the last entrance to the mall. And there are a lot of businesses along there. Uh, a lot, yes. We, so we did a lot of work to go door to door to notify everyone. But it's not going to be that long. I don't think the project's going to last that long, is it? No, construction started uh, August 29th, and it is scheduled to be completed by November 18th. And you think you'll be on time? Absolutely. We Barring make, any rain. We will absolutely be out of the way before any holiday shopping season. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm sure that's what everybody wanted to hear about. Yeah, we will be out of the way. I think I'm going to take a little walk down Rivers Avenue. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, 
beautiful area here anyhow because I love the medians and how well they've been planted and the like. But the sidewalks are very attractive as well and I'm going to go down there and meet a friend of mine. We'll talk to you later.